Tonight, Target 12 digs deeper into one of Rhode Island's most notorious and unsolved murder cases. Next month will mark 35 years since Warren businessman Eamon Jamiel was found shot to death in his home. Some went over and saw him lying in the tub, all blood all over him. And his family downstairs and the police were in the house. Tonight, an interview with the victim's brother who talked about the crime for the first time in decades. And new information from the police officer now in charge of this cold case. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau has the details. Eamon Jamiel was considered the unofficial mayor of Warren. One of his younger brothers, among the many stunned by the homicide, talked about it publicly for the first time in 25 years to Target 12. Okay, can you see that? Two weeks before he passed away, 91-year-old Mo Jamiel brought Target 12 into his Warren Law Office and opened up volumes of documents and newspaper clippings. Murder search continues. That brought us back to March 19, 1978. Eleven times they shot him in the, in the in the bathtub. Son of a. One wasn't enough. You had to do eleven. In the days before the murder, Warren police were investigating other crimes they now think were connected to the shooting. Six days before, Eamon Jamiel's variety store, the House of a Million Items, was destroyed by a fire in what investigators called the case of arson. That crime was never solved. Months before the fire, Eamon Jamiel went to police telling them money was missing from his store. Well, he says, I'm talking about large amounts of money, uh, hundreds of dollars, and even maybe thousands of dollars. Lieutenant Roland Bruley, who's now in charge of this cold case, still hears from witnesses about the unsolved crime. Within the past year, he was contacted by state police about a potential lead. The state police detective and I did go out and, and, and do a follow-up. Nothing came of it? Nothing came of it. Warren police said Jamiel was found around 5 o'clock the night of the shooting. His body was discovered four hours later by his wife and oldest son, Jonathan. Help me, please. Would you do something with 33 please? I was working here, and the chief police called me. He says, come on over, your brother's, in, your brother's in trouble. Police said there were no signs of forced entry, and the murder weapon was never found. Although investigators said they suspected a 32 caliber revolver stolen from Jamiel's store was used in the shooting. Target 12 found out that over the years, a half dozen suspects were investigated, including Jamiel's son, Mark and youngest son, Jonathan. No charges were ever filed. Mo Jamiel had his own suspect for decades. Based on his character and on his meanness, somebody put 11 bullets, so they had to reload and do it again, so it had to be somebody who was really bitter. 35 years later, Lieutenant Bruley tells us there are several boxes of evidence like this one that he combs through about once a month. Do we still have a person of interest in this case? As far as I'm concerned, everybody's a suspect. Mo Jamiel told Target 12 he was skeptical the murder would ever be solved. You just wait your, wait your time, hoping someday something would happen. Target 12 reached out to Mark and Jonathan Jamiel, but neither one responded. Jonathan Jamiel still lives at 33 Miller Street, but has now put the house up for sale. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News. The investigation continues on foxprovidence.com. Use our interactive timeline to take you through the important dates and details of this case and hear more from Eamon Jamiel's exclusive interview with Target 12.